Hey you guys, Blessed YGO here, and I literally, literally just finished day two of the remote YCS. Uh, unfortunately, I went X31, uh, losing out day two, uh, but I ended up playing this cool train guy who uh, actually talked to, oh, he's, I don't know where he's from, but this guy from my locals plays the Earth Train Machine deck, and uh, they were working on the deck together, and I actually had to play him the last round, so that was pretty cool. I ended up losing the Earth Trains, though. Um... He played traps in his deck, like real traps. I lost Imperial Order. I had four spells in my hands. But, hey, it happens. Uh, tried to get there for you guys. I love Salad. So excited to be back playing Salomon Great. A lot of people have been requesting the deck. So, just going to try to get it for you guys. Uh, so, I'm just going to go ahead and start it off. A couple quick shout-outs before I start also, just to make sure you guys get the shout-outs before, you know, the video starts. Uh, shout-out to my sponsors for giving me all the cards I need for the remote YCS in time and for getting my other teammates of the cards they need in time. Shout-out to everybody who's been shopping at my TCG Player store. You know, the store name is Wakanda. Can't miss it. Gotta love it. Best prices always. Try to find you some fire. Uh, and we always handle things with care. You know, customer service there is the biggest thing, you know, because... I'm a person, and I know how it feels to buy cards on the internet, and I'd hate for me to spend my money and then the seller just not give a hoot or care about anything. So, yeah, with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into the deck profile. Salmon Grid has been, like, my most requested deck you guys have asked for, so trying to make it, uh, you know, very nice and thorough. This will not be a quick deck profile, even though it's Salmon Grid, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to explain deck choices and numbers on uh, deck numbers, you know, stuff like that. So, so the main deck is 41. Um, I mean 40. I actually want to play 41 for the event, but I usually like 40 uh, as a maximum. Uh, it was just I want to fit in a third Solemn Strike. That's a spoiler alert. I do play Strike. Um, but there was a couple cards in my deck that were subpar, uh, and I'll explain why, though. So, uh, starting off, I played 1C Archiver. Uh, he was all right. He was never terrible. He was, uh, he was always okay. He was always good. Um... My my first turn, like, my first plays were never, my first idea was never, like, get to Stalio. That's never, like, what I'm trying to do my first turn. I'm just trying to assimilate a bunch of cards, you know, draw a bunch of cards. And, uh, you know, assimilate hand traps and real traps, you know, while ending on just a Sunlight Wolf is fine on me. Or if I do end up going the Stalio route, I usually try to end on Appaloosa uh, using up my Stalio. So Stalio is usually never, like, on my board turn two uh, unless, unless my board was, like, kind of subpar and i had to pass you know without having a will uh so yeah if you guys want to know uh how to make apollosa with will all you need is uh will and regular combo and then you have it or you can either send you can send gazelle off a of will uh I'll, I'll show you the combo later on um it's, it's it's not like super tech cool or anything uh one gazelle not gonna explain that uh, one Falco, not going to explain that. Uh, I played two Jack Jaguar, uh, pretty much. I used to play three of him before we got uh, Stalio back, and it was just like Sunlight Wolf Turbo. Um, it still kind of is, but now we have we can draw like, we, we have like different lines of plays, so we don't need to just go like normal summon and make Wolf Pass anymore. Um, he's still a one card access code talker, so I like to play him, uh, and he's good. He, I play Desires, and, he, and he's good uh, discard for Buffalo as well. And then you play three Spinny, uh, arguably the second best Salad Monster uh, as of right now. You know, it usually changes between Spinny and Jack, depending on the format. Uh, but, yeah. And, then, you know, you got the third best Salad Monster, Foxy. Uh, Foxy's always just trying to help. Whether it be milling three off the top to try to give you some luck and get to a wheel. That actually happened. I used Foxy Effect one time the entire YCS and I hit a wheel. So I was I was completely fine with that. Um, actually, I used it twice. I hit a wheel once and a Falco the second time. Uh, so, yeah, and he's, he's just here to help me help you make Stalio. I just prefer him over, like, other level three extenders. I, I just prefer three Foxy over, like, 2C Archiver. You know what I mean? Uh, that's it for the Salmon Gray Monsters. And then, you know, we play three Flame Buffalo. He's an honorary Solomon Great monster, you know. Solomon Great Flame Buffalo, you know. Pot of Greed. Uh, like, I, I feel very confident my first turn if I open up, like, Flame Buffalo and, like, a Pot of Desires. Like, Flame Buffalo, like, a, you know, discard outlet and, like, Pot of Desires. Uh, I feel, I usually feel pretty confident. Um, drawing four cards on top of already, you know, drawing five cards to start your duel is pretty good. 
Uh, so I play nine hand traps in the main. We play three droll and lock. We play three ghost bill. And then we play three ash blossom. So just nine hand traps in the main. Um, droll could have been DD Crow. Um, I didn't play Psycho Reader. I played DD Crow specifically. Uh, just because DD Crow hit more matchups than Psycho Reader. Psycho Reader only hit Drytrons. Um, Bell and Ash, you know, that Bell's just insane right now. It's probably the best hand trap right now. Probably considerably better than Ash. Um, but they're like neck and neck, Ash and Bell right now. Droll. It's pretty much like good versus random stuff and like Drytron. Um... It could have been Bell. I mean, it could have been uh, DD Crow. I like it as Droll, though. Um, I don't really have anything to say about the hand traps that would have changed. Uh, I played against a lot of different decks, though. I didn't play any Sky Strikers, so I probably could have made, like, Nib, Nibiru. Uh, and just saw how that worked out. But yeah, other than that, uh, the nine hand traps were fine. Like, you main deck nine, and then we side into five more, so. Uh, that's it for the monsters. Uh, for the spells, play one Foolish Burial. Um, Foolish was one of the worst cards, but it wasn't, like, the worst card. You know what I mean? It was just, like, it made my good hands better or, like, made, like, my my terrible hands worse. So, like, if I drew, like, three hand traps, like, a call by and, like, a Foolish, like, I'm like, damn, I'm probably going to fucking lose this game. Um, but, like, if this was a Solomon Great name, you know what I mean? Like, we're fine. Uh, it's, it's basically just, like, another Solomon Great name. Also, while being, like, Archiver, like, obviously everyone knows, like, drawing Foolish and Will is, like, insane. Um, but I actually had to do that against my last opponent, uh, and it actually won me that game. Like, everybody everybody knows that. Like, you draw Foolish and Will together, like, you're, you're you are you know, majority of the time you're sending Gazelle. But I like to hold my Will a lot of times for extenders. Uh, sorry, cars driving by on the street. Uh, especially, like, game two and three. When you know they're going to have Nib. Uh, sometimes I like to hold it. I don't know. This, this could have been something else. But definitely, I would not probably play Call By again. This is probably the worst card in my uh, main deck for sure. Um, the only hand trap this deck ever loses to is like a Nibiru. So, like, if I can't Call By Nibiru, then I'm not really doing anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm pretty much at that point just like, I don't know, just using this as a spell trap. You know what I mean? Just a, a trap that I can use going second, if that makes sense. Um, I, I usually keep it in my deck for, like, more striker players, to be honest. Like, I, I, I hit it with raids more than I, I plan on hitting more raids than I do hand traps. Uh, and then we play for Simon Great Cards. We play one Circle, one Sanctuary, and then we've got to play the three Will. Will is definitely the best Solomon Great card. The only reason it's not hit is because you already have to have another card. Um, if if Will searched to a card, it would be bad. Um, I don't know. It's just... <laughs> continuous like after turn one the card's insane the card's probably one of the best cards ever created like after turn one it's it's wild like turn one is just a monster born you know or optional pseudo a water or optional water down soul charge but like will will is by far insane like there's so many formats where you don't have to play it but like or you can play it at one but like having it at three is so good and just like having a face up spell or like having a Spelling or Salmon Great Name in your hand, discard off Foxy. Like, that's just more names. Like, the deck the deck runs off of names really well. Like, you can you can live off of a will. Um, you know, just a will in the Bay Lynx. Uh, I've done that plenty of times. You know, like hand traps. Let's say your hand's not like good, or you're playing through like hand traps. You know what I mean? Uh, like will will's just really crazy. Uh, and then on top of that, we have. Three sign and mining, three beautiful sign and mining, uh, sign and mining, sign and mining. You know, it's your extender, it's your rota. Uh, I usually like to hold this in my hand and save it to extend when I know I have gazelle in my deck and a side and like a monster to pitch out of my hand. I usually just like start playing with other cards and save this. And then I play three pot desires. Uh, yeah, pop was crazy. Um, I drew, I drew so many good cards off it. Uh, yeah, not enough said Pot Desires, Pot Desires, you know, Pot is greedy, play three. There was one time I drew, like, like I said, the last match, uh, I buffaloed, 
I know when I was putting this earth guy, I normal buffalo. He did, he used uh, the machine trap to blow my board up. Uh, and then a buffalo effect to draw two. Uh, and I already had a pot desires and sign of mine in my hand. I draw a pot of mine and another pot desires and sign of mine. So it was just like, at that point, wasn't really much, you know, to do. So it was just like, eh. But I never really drew desires off desires, though. Like, I had two in my hand at one point this tournament. Um, and then for traps, we play just the one rage, the one roar. Uh, these cards are really good. You know, not going to explain those. I don't play multiples. Um, you can because, like I said, at that point, you're just playing, like, more names. Uh, and you're, like, guaranteed. And whenever you open one of these and you're, like, guaranteed to just play your combo, you usually have a good chance of winning that game. Because, um, like, whenever you don't search, your opponents never play around it. And then for the last two traps, we play two solemn strength. I didn't want to go too trap heavy because I didn't want people to side in, like, twin twisters and stuff versus me. I just want them to, like, try to play through it. Because essentially, Solomon and Grain only plays two traps, and they're only getting to one of them per turn. Um... So, like, you putting in, like, Twisters and Cosmic, that's, you're just, like, nagging at that point to hit, like, a Roar. Uh, and you'll be, like, the worst Salad player. So, I remember, like, a lot a lot of time when I first started playing with Salad, I was relying on Roar a lot. Like, I was just, I, I was in on Wolf Roar Pass, and I was just like, man, I need this Roar to, like, the one time I negate his, like, engage with it, I need to just, like, you know, stop him. And I wouldn't even be thinking about the scenarios where you have, like, you know, Ray, you know, and take a guard and then, you know, just get it back. Uh, yeah, so, like, I don't know. My third my third strike would probably be Call by the Grave for sure. Um, yeah, definitely Call by the Grave for sure. Uh, I'll get into the extra deck, and I'll get into the side deck. I'll start off with the Wakanda token, you know, handmade. Shout out to my boy, Jay. And we got the, you know, tokens. We got the luxury token. This was before Kobe was a YCS champ. I want you guys to just see how many YCS tops are in this in this token. Can you count? Do you see everybody back there? You see Gunther? You see Arnold? You see Hani? Look at that. Memories. Bring back events, please. Uh, all right. So back to the big <laughs> real deal. Uh, I'm gonna put this down just a little bit so everybody can see it. There we go. And for extra deck, you know, we start off with the eight Solomon Great Monsters. Uh, we have three Bay Links. Self-explanatory. Three Sunlight Wolf. If I ever hear somebody explain, like, why they play three Sunlight Wolf, three Bay, like, I'll be so upset. Like, when the deck first came out, I remember people were actually, like, going from two to three Bay Links. But, like, three is just crazy. Uh, and you play double Heat Leo. Um, I summoned Heat Leo a lot. A lot this weekend. Um, like, a lot. <laughs> Uh, he's really easy to go into access code to uh, after you spin two back row. Like, I actually didn't make. Um, I think I made transcode twice, update once. But, like, I really just went to access code off of Heat Leo a lot of times. Because, like, I would just clear the bo board, put them on zero cards, and just uh, end with, like, one negate in my hand. And it was fine. Like, it'd be like an Ash Blossom or, like, a Bell or I'd have, like, a strike set or something, because, like, I, I will use all my cards to push and clear everything and just leave you on zero cards. And you, you're drawing one card for turn, so if I have one negate to your one card and we break even, my access code just kills you next turn. Um, so I never really need to just, like, go for the update jammer. You know, I know the play. You know, it's super easy to do, and a lot of times you can't do it. I went for it whenever it was open, obviously. Uh, but, yeah, that was it for the 8 Silent Great Monsters. Heat Leo is super important now. Uh, there was a format ago we weren't playing him. He's definitely super important now. And then we play just one Splash Mage and one Update Jammer, one Transcode. You know the package. This is the standard package everybody plays. You're playing Cybers. Any Cybers deck, uh, you should be playing these in your, in your thing. Well, it should be also Access Code Talker with them. I'm sorry. Uh, these four, you know, it's just you go Update into Splash, into Trans, into Access, or you can, these two you can always, you know, like, differ. Sometimes you can even skip Splash Mage, depending on if you have links on board, and just go into these. Um, so, like, it, you all, you play all four of them because they're just so controversial. Uh, and then my Spice I played this weekend, uh, played Apollosa. Uh, this was so fire for me. Uh, my brother Darrell actually came in my game, I... 
I was playing against, um, I can't remember, I think it was uh, Attic Nister. And he has a uh, nib in his hand. And, like, I'm already way past five summons. I have a wolf on board, uh, a Bay Lynx, a, a, a Jaguar. I have a wolf, a Bay Lynx, a Jaguar, and a Will. And I'm like, man, I could just pass. Or I th if I think he has nib, like, and he nibs me and I will back my wolf, I still don't really end on anything. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to use this will early. Summon back the the wolf from my graveyard because I reincarnated a wolf, you know, when you, I put one in my graveyard. So I willed it back. Uh, and I'm just sitting there like, man, should I should I go battle phase or should I just end my turn? And then, and then uh, I just make Appaloosa. I just make Appaloosa with uh, Sunlight Wolf, uh, Bay Lynx, and the Jack Jaguar. So I had like uh, Sunlight Wolf, I had Sunlight Wolf, Appaloosa, and he had Nib in his hand. He was he was just like, man, I really should have nibbed you like earlier on. He was like, but every he's like every style player, I usually just wait until the end of the turn and I nib him. And like a lot of time, that's been correct. You know what I'm saying? Because like a lot of people don't play Appaloosa, so you could you could end up nibbing like a Dweller, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? And then also you don't want to nib too early, and then you get caught off by somebody going like. Uh, nib token in the link spider make parallel Z, you know what I'm saying? Continue. Um, but yeah, so that this was the the spice for me. I loved Appaloosa. Um, as long as Will's in my deck, I'll be playing Appaloosa. As long as Will and Stalio are in my deck, I'll be playing Appaloosa. Uh, whenever you resolve Stalio and and you, you get to this, so that's it's pretty good. Uh, and then. You know, you play the one Stalio and the one Dweller. Dweller was actually the worst card in my extra deck all weekend. I uh, summoned it one time, and it won me one game. Uh, it won me the one game I summoned him. But other than that, it literally never won. I just like to flex faulty a little bit. You know, it's so pretty. Look at that Konami. Whew. Whew. Uh, for the extra deck. I mean, sorry, for the side deck. I'll start off one Pankratops. Uh, I think this came in once, so probably should have cut it. I thought it would be more striker. I didn't play against a lot of striker. I played against one striker, and that was the end of uh, round nine, day two. Uh, I beat him. Uh, and then I played two Nibiru. Uh, this probably should have been three. I played against a lot of Rogue. I mean, not even Rogue, but, like, it's just a good card right now. Um, when you're playing a deck that has, like, multiple hand traps, and you just, like, pile hand traps on hand traps on hand traps, your opponent's trying to play through them all, and then you hit him with a rock. It's like... Kind of devastating. So, probably should make that change. Uh, cutting the prank, putting the third in the beer. And I played the three DD Crow. Uh, Crow over Psycho Reader, because like I said earlier in the er beginning of the video, it hits more matchups for me while also still getting rid of the Ben 10. Um, and I play like loads of other hand traps. Like a lot of people play Psycho Reader because they don't have too many hand traps in their deck already. So, they need like a blowout when they draw the one hand trap they have. But I have like multiple. So, I'm fine with just hitting one. Uh, and then I played one Feather Duster, Double Cosmic, Triple Twin. Again, I thought there'd be, like, more striker, more backward deck. So I was, like, really prepared for the backward deck. So I was never, like, ever, ever losing to a Mystic Mind. Um, so that's, that, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, I was just preparing them. You know, just, just being prepared. Uh, Cosmic's probably only in my deck because of, like, Elwich. Other than that, it'd probably be, like, Reboot or something. I like the Cosmic, Cosmic Elwich. I hate Reboot because like, if you can't kill him, you just lost the game to your own card. Uh, and then you play the Anti-Spell Package. Um, order giveth and order taketh away. Uh, like I said, I lost the last round to order, but also won multiple rounds because of order. Um, this is also a reason Striker can't play because if anybody ever draws this card at like any point in time in the game, you lose. Um, yeah. And a lot of decks are on order, so it's kind of hard for Striker to play when everybody's playing Imperial Order. Uh, yeah, unless you play like Trap Striker, which I think is what I'm more afraid of. I'm I'm really I get really scared of Striker when they learn to create that traps for the format, because uh, then then you're not playing against Striker, you're playing against like real cards. Uh, but that's it, you guys. You know, appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for asking for the deck. You know, I finally gave it to you as requested. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Leave your comments below in the thought. Uh, leave your comments below in the comment section. Uh, <laughs> leave your thoughts as well. Uh, I also have a Tri Brigade deck that I'll be building. Uh, I've been wanting to play 
Pure Tri Brigade. I also still want to play Zoo Tri Brigade. Now we're showing what I want to end on or, you know, like, what, what am I going for? So, other than that, you know, bless you, Gil. Shine out, you guys. Peace. Wakanda forever. Ebon Bay. Events coming soon. Never forget. Wakanda best team. Signing out.